All right, if you're trying to lose weight and you're so bummed because everyone told you that you have to spend countless hours doing cardio in order to lose the weight, then you come to the right place. Cardio is so freaking boring, I cannot stand it. Um, I understand it's super good for your cardiovascular health and if you're doing cardio because you wanna be healthy, I'm all for it. But if you're doing cardio because you think that's gonna help you lose the fat, well, I'm here to tell you that there's a lot of other ways to lose fat more effectively. One of the problems is that people overestimate the amount of calories that they're gonna be burning during a cardio session. And one of the worst things that ever happened to the fitness industry is um, one of those little watches that tell you how many calories you burn uh, that day. Listen, if you're, if you're watching from 2022, those things are not accurate. If you're watching from 2030, you guys are probably fine. But if you're watching from right now, chances are, your watch is overestimating the amount of calories that you're actually burning. So there's a study that basically uh, tested how many calories scientifically a normal person would, would burn during a cardio session. And what they discovered is that a um, 160 pound guy doing light cardio would burn around 32 calories every 10 minutes, medium intensity cardio, 74 calories every 10 minutes, and high intensity cardio, 112 calories every 10 minutes, and then a 300 pound guy would be 40 calories, 90 calories, and 140 calories. Now, pretty much no one is gonna do a cardio session that's only gonna last 10 minutes, no matter what intensity they are. So I can like translate that into actual cardio sessions that people will actually do. So you have one hour of low intensity cardio, that's between 190 to 240, depending on what you weight. 40 minutes of mini intensity cardio, 296 to 360, depending on what you weigh. 20 minutes of cardio, 224 to 280 calories. Obviously, if you weigh more than 200 pounds, it's gonna be more. If you weigh less than 160 pounds, it's gonna be less. But my point is, if you take a look at the amount of time that it actually requires you to, to burn a significant amount of, uh, of calories, it's just way too much. Like we're talking about a couple hours of, of, mini, of low intensity cardio, an hour and a half of medium intensity cardio and around 40 minutes of um, of high intensity cardio, which is really, really tough. And the thing is, once you do cardio, you only work on your cardiovascular health. You're not even, in the majority of the cases, you're not even building any muscle. So you're putting a lot of time for not a lot of the work. Well, if you change your, if you change your perspective from focusing on the cardio first, to you focusing on resistant training, a good resistant training workout, something that's gonna challenge you, something that's gonna put your body under stress and that's gonna last anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes, you can easily be looking at 500 to 800 calories burn in about 50 minutes or even 40 depending on, on the intensity, right? We're talking about double the results in terms of fat loss. But not only that, you're also gonna gain muscle Okay, because you're gonna be targeting your muscle fibers. So you're gonna put on some muscle so when you lose the fat, you don't look all soft and not, not flabby, but you actually look toned and you look like there's something underneath. And not only that, but if you do that correctly, you're also gonna be doing cardio. What? Yeah, because the cardiovascular health is, when you, when you say you're doing cardio, it means that you're working on your heart, okay? Your cardiovascular health. So if you do resistant training right, you're, you're also gonna be working on your heart. So all the health benefits that the cardio has, the regular cardio has, the resistant trainer can provide you as well. But on top of that, you're gonna burn more calories, you're gonna put on some muscle, you're gonna feel great, you're gonna look great, and then you're gonna come back and thank you, all right? So hopefully that was eye-opening on how many calories that you actually can expect to burn from a cardio session and why you should only utilize cardio as an atom. I'm all good if you want to use it for because you, you enjoy it, obviously do what you what you like. But if your main goal is to lose weight, I would advise you to focus on resistant training and then if you want add some cardio on top of that to kind of speed out the process and add that that couple hundred to three three hundred calories extra burn per day, but not necessarily by any means. So hopefully that helped you. If it did, just leave a comment down here or share it to someone who might like it, and I'll see you in the next video.